So I recently came across the term conscious parenting and I got really intrigued. So today we're going to be talking about what conscious parenting is, what it isn't, and how we can take steps towards becoming a better parent right after this. What's up guys, my name is Shayla and I'm the creator of Junk Drawer Mom. I believe that hiding is overrated, so on this channel we talk about everything motherhood from practical to personal. So if you're new here, consider subscribing before you go. So we've been talking about mental and emotional health for the last couple of weeks, so make sure you go back and check out those videos if you haven't done so already. Um, but we've been talking about it, how it relates to us as women, but what we haven't discussed is how it actually relates to our kids. Um, and so I came across this uh, face, actually it was in, in a mom's Facebook group that I was a part of and um, the post was about like yelling at your kids and how to um, be more gentle with them, yada yada, thus and such. And so I've talked about this before on this channel. I have an issue with raising my voice at my children. Um, anybody that knows me, <laughs> knows that this is a problem. I don't necessarily get angry. I just feel like I need to raise my voice at them. However, I understand that that is not the best way to motivate your children. Like I wouldn't want to be yelled at all the time for somebody to motivate me and kids are the same way. So I began a quest uh, to try to do better. So in this Facebook group, they actually recommended another Facebook group um, and it was conscious parenting. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, and so I went and I looked up the group and then it just started me kind of on this, uh, what do you call it, rabbit hole? Y'all know what I mean. Um, but this downward deep dive into what conscious parenting is. And there is so much out there about conscious parenting. Some people call it gentle parenting. It's all one and the same. And so basically, what from what I've been able to gather, conscious parenting is being able to understand your triggers as a parent, your mindset and perspective um, on your upbringing, how you believe that children should be raised, but then also understanding uh, the, uh, the age appropriate behaviors that a child would exhibit along with um, the mental capabilities of your children. Um, so there are certain things that I would expect from a 10-year-old that I wouldn't expect from a two-year-old, if that makes sense. Um, conscious parenting is all about realizing that children are people too and they deserve to be respected and it's not uh, seeing them as inferior in any way to you. That's something I can get down with, you know. I am all about empowering children um, to be the best people that they can be. And I talked about this in the last video, but really being able to uplift your kids and encourage them, especially as a mom, like, you know, I don't know, I'm not necessarily like a super nurturing mother, um, but I want to be, I'm trying to be. And so these are the things and the steps that I'm taking to get there. Now, let me tell you something, uh, conscious parenting is not letting your kids walk all over you it's not letting them disrespect you um, because I've seen people talk about they're practicing conscious parenting or gentle parenting and their kids be slapping up upside the head and all that other foolishness no that's not what I'm talking about you know there are still boundaries and I believe that conscious parenting still involves discipline um, it's just a matter of what that discipline looks like like not everything requires a spanking not everything requires even a timeout. Like there's one thing that I thought was interesting. Instead of sending your kids away to timeout, like you need to br be bringing them closer to you to let them know like, I'm here to help you work out your problems, not go in your room or go over here by yourself and work it out on your own and leave you to process emotions that you don't know how to process. So for me, this is definitely a journey. <laughs> I am by far, not really, in my opinion, anywhere close to being a conscious parent. However, um, I am at least aware that that is a goal, that that's something that's attainable for me. Um, and I'm taking steps towards getting there. Now that I have my own kids, you know, I see that, you know, 
kids need to be respected. Like, even though um, they're still children and they need to be told what to do, uh, they can be told to do so in a motivating way, in a way that helps them understand. It is my responsibility as a mother to teach them, to train them, to guide them. So I can't expect them to know something or to react a way, in a way that I would expect another adult to react in a way. So I can't force them or berate them into whatever it is that I want them to do. I have to lead them into those things. And the whole notion of conscious parenting, I think really like as horrible as this sounds, like I feel like it just exposed that I am a lazy parent. Um, I am, was not taking the time to, um, to teach them, to lead them, to guide them. And so now that my eyes have been opened, I have no choice but to get better. Um, I have no choice but to take steps every day towards becoming a conscious parent. It all starts with your belief system. So if I can change my perspective on what I believe about parenting, what I believe about my children, what I believe about myself as a mom, all of those things ultimately will change my actions. That is truly conscious parenting. Like it's being conscious of what you're doing, being aware of how you're parenting your kids. We're not just going through life, doing whatever, being whatever, saying whatever to our kids. Like we are being intentional. We are being um, very direct with our parenting. And so um, that is ultimately my goal as a mom, like to just, for them to be able to say when they get older, you know, my, my mother was there for me. You know, she was a guide. She taught me well. Um, that would just be like the ultimate compliment. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Question of the day. Have you heard about conscious parenting? Do you practice conscious parenting? Do you not? Why? Why not? Let me know in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys. And don't forget, hiding is overrated. I'll see you next time.